Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the installment of Scott Selections here for Tuesday, August 25th. We're getting to today's play today. A quick recap of what happened yesterday. We ended up picking up a loss with the Steven Adams player prop under 11.5 points, which was available on FanDuel at minus 126. Unfortunately, we ended up getting a very good number as we ended up getting it at, it at uh, under 11.5 and ended up closing at 10.5. So we ended up gaining a point of value. Adams ended up playing the fewest amount of minutes he's played all series. He played 26, and he ended up finishing with exactly 12. So we lost by half a point. A bit unfortunate. There was a questionable shooting foul on Harden in the second quarter, which gave him two free throws, and he made both. I didn't think it was a foul, but either or. Uh, I can't call it a bad beat because he had 12 points going into the fourth quarter. And then he proceeded not to score in the fourth. They ended up using Gallinari at the center like I thought they would, but they gave Adams a little bit more run time than I thought they would, especially off the injury, which didn't seem to phase him whatsoever. So we were coming off a loss. But we're going to be looking for a bounce back here in the NBA. And this play might sound a little bit repetitive as the, I gave out this play a couple of days ago, but it's going to be on a match between the Utah Jazz and the Denver Nuggets. And the play of the day, once again, is going to be on the Utah Jazz team total over 111.5, which is available at minus 110 on Fox Bet. Now, the last time I gave it out is at 109.5 at minus 110, and Utah ended up scoring 120-plus points. Uh, the, one of the trends that I mentioned before is that Denver has given up at least 110 points in each of their last 13 games. Fun fact, they've given up at least 112 points in each of their last 13 games. As well, this team cannot stop anybody. I understand that Denver, you know, is in a must-win game as they're facing elimination. People might argue that they might be looking for a better defensive showing, uh, but I don't see it. They've given up at least 124 points in each of the four games in this series. They can't stop Mitchell. They can't stop Connolly. They can't stop Clarkson. They can't stop Gobert. This team might be one of the worst pick-and-roll defenses I've ever uh, team defensive teams I've ever seen in the playoffs in my life. Uh, they cannot stop anybody. And Denver, even though they might try to tinker with the lineups, figure something out, at the end of the day, Utah has just looked completely dialed in offensively, and they've gotten whatever they wanted all uh, series long. If you want to break down the actual game uh, four that just happened, Utah entered the third quarter, uh, entered the fourth quarter, I mean, with about 97 points. They scored at least 31 points in every quarter. Utah shot 57.5% from the floor. They attempted 36 free throws. I think Utah should break 120 again. You also have to wonder if this gets ugly for Denver early on. Like if Denver ends up falling down double digits in the first half, I'm a little bit concerned they might throw in the towel. And if that's the case, I expect their defensive intensity, which is pretty lackluster to begin with, is going to get even worse. Uh, Mitchell could easily go for 30-plus again. Uh, as for the game itself, I think this game will be pretty high scoring. I'm a little bit concerned, though, uh, with taking Denver – uh, because of the fact that they kind of require Mur uh, Murray to score roughly 40-something points to keep it competitive. But at the end of the day, I'm going to keep fading this Denver team defensively until they prove me wrong. And Utah offensively, even without Boyan, has been completely dialed in in the playoffs. And I think that they should be able to score 120-plus points again. 111.5 might make sense if you're another team that's not Denver defensively. But at the end of the day, Denver just can't guard anybody. And until Denver proves to me that they can actually stop Utah for – not even a game for a quarter, uh, then I'm going to keep fading them. So the play of the day, once again, is going to be on a team total. It's going to be on the Utah Jazz over 111.5 points, which is available on Fox Bet at minus 110 at time recording of 2.12 a.m. Eastern time. You have seen some movement on the over as well. It's gone from 2.20.5 to 2.21 and even 2.21.5. This line should probably climb all the way up to maybe 2.22, 2.23. And if that's the case, this team total should climb once again to – around 112, 113 and a half. So you're already getting pretty good value there. So once again, play the day, Utah Jazz total points over 111 and a half, which is available on Fox Bet at minus 110. That's in this installment of Scott Selections here for Tuesday, August 25th. Good luck to all of you and your respective best today. Bye, everyone.